Oh hey guys, uh, what's up? Yeah, it's me, Travis, with my bring back for your sixth Android tutorial. And today we're going to get a little bit into this Java so you know what you're talking about. But before we do that, we're going to kind of set up some uh, resources for our splash screen that we're going to create because, you know, we want this app to be legit, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so basically, first, before we jump into the, the Java, I just want you to right click on your resource folder and then go to new folder right here and we need to create a folder that will hold our sounds and what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this folder our RAR folder um, R-A-W all lowercase hit finish and this is where we're gonna keep our sounds so now um, we're gonna just add a sound for splash activity um, and also add a new picture to our uh, drawable so I'm just gonna do that up here real quick um, the basics resources and here's all our folders here's a quick little splash um, I created so uh, I call it splash underscore background and I just want to make sure that you guys remember that everything that you put in as a resource even if you're getting some errors in that last tutorial even your layouts they all need to be lowercase otherwise it's going to cause you all sorts of problems so uh, I'm just going to put that uh, splash back into the drawable and I'm also going to put this little song I created into our RAR folder and yet yeah, some of these uh, some of these sounds will give you some troubles and such so I'm also going to include which you know audio files video files are acceptable by Android in the description you want to check that out um, for the most part you probably want to use a dot o g g for your audio I just had m4a um, just cuz still getting used to the Mac and I don't know exactly uh, how to export it in a different format so I'm just gonna go with this and hopefully it works now we're gonna go back into our Android here or uh, I'm sorry our Eclipse and the first thing you notice is there's still nothing in there. Um, basically, you for, you want to go up to this project tab and go down to clean. And that's just gonna get your project all nice and clean after a good little bubble bath, if you know, if you uh, remember those days. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know what you guys are talking about. But uh, now it's all loaded up. Got our splash. And now I'm just going to kind of talk through this Java project or what we got in our main Java already. So I'm just going to go from top to bottom. Our package, that's what we named our package name. Um, as you can see right over here, this is our package name. The main is from our package, so that's where it's coming from, this package. So it's going to include it, package com.mybringback.thebasics. These imports are some other uh, projects that are packages that we're uh, importing from. Um, and that comes from, again, the Android 2.2, the Android jar folder. And that's what it's kind of referencing. Why do we need to import these? Well, for one reason, we're extending the main class, which is from android.app.activity. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, we're extending the activity class. I don't know if I said main or activity, I kind of losing my train of thought there, but yeah, this is coming from one of these packages, so we have to import that package into our Eclipse, or into our, this project, and that's the same thing with this bundle, because right here we're using bundle, so we need to, we, that's not like a Java term or anything, that's from an actual class that uh, the SDK has, so we're going to have to import that package, so that's what the imports mean, and then uh, what this public means, I'm just going to kind of talk through this real quickly. Public is means basically this class is accessible to all the other classes in our project. Um, and obviously it's going to be a class. Um, I'll get to like methods in a second. But this is a class which is going to hold methods. And we called this class main. Now we're extending. What extending means is we're extending another class the activity class. Now this activity class is called in Java terms like a super class. Um, not activity alone but anytime you extends 
or implement uh, that you're going from a superclass this would be your subclass and this would be your superclass now when you say extends that means we can use some of those methods from that class um, that superclass activity as you can see when I'm clicking on activity on create highlights as well that means this method is from our superclass and the only reason we can use this method is because we extended activity um, now this override is basically saying yeah we're using someone else's method and we're just going to override it and what a method does basically you know when you have that scratch on your back you need to scratch it like a method is like doing that action like scratching or whatever um, for this for this case it's a on create so when our app starts this is the on create method it's going to get called first um, and again it's public and anytime you see void you know it's probably a method um, and what this means is when you create methods you can put things in your parameters uh, for instance this is putting something passing something in its parameters uh, which what is it passing well it's passing a bundle um, and we're labeling that bundle this uh, saved instance state we can change that to something like um, Travis is awesome and then uh, we get this error right here because it doesn't know what save instance state is anymore it doesn't know if it's a bundle or what what not so we're just gonna say uh, Travis is awesome here as well and again you guys have to put Travis is awesome otherwise it's not gonna work um, and what this is it's the superclass uh, or it's referring to the superclass uh, the on create from the superclass and it's passing in this bundle we'll get into that a little bit later I know this is kind of confusing it's just kind of a quick overview and then the set content view you guys kind of know what that does it just sets the background or the layout um, and we're referring to our splash activity now that's kind of a quick overview of of Java um, so we're just gonna stick with that for now but uh, before I want you to or I'm sorry before we uh, go any further I just want you to change your splash activity real quick the XML and we're just gonna basically put nothing new but we're just gonna set the background um, as the parent matches everything I mean the layout height and width match the parent so we're just gonna put Android uh, background nothing new but uh, and then we're gonna say at drawable and resource that new image that you just put in I, I had it labeled as splash uh, back and now we're just gonna check it out yeah very ugly uh, I did that in like two seconds so I mean actually I spent like three days on that but I feel bad because it turned out that way but anyways so there you go um, that's basically all this lesson is gonna be so thanks again for watching subscribing give me those thumbs up and everything you guys do thanks again watch uh, like check out the website and all that good stuff I gotta go peace homies